I guess I'm the comic relief, the sort of sweetness and light at the end of lunch, a little, a little petit four, perhaps. Um, but I will try to uplift you with some view to how you can help solve these problems that Patty and Tom have so cleverly put to you. I, I did used to do a lot of work in this field, um, but I was more on the wild and woolly than the wonky side, <laughs> working with Greenpeace and the like. Um, and now I've become a sunshine salesman with a great new innovative company called Sungevity that I'd encourage you all to check out online when you go home, sungevity.com. Uh, the, the point that I would like to make is that there are solutions, that we can move from this hot air nonsense of non-solution, obfuscation and fear, uncertainty and doubt about this climate problem and get to um, a, a place of proactive, potentially quite liberating uh, synergy between the North, the South and the us and the them that are involved in this struggle to save the planet from climate change. We at Sungevity are setting up a company to try to scale solar because PV is part of the solution. Um, photovoltaics are PV as it's called. The, the slide that Tom showed of the curve, the massive reduction in emissions between now and 2050 that's required, some, some other thought experiments have been done with that curve as to how you could fix that. How could you reduce those emissions that are expected over the next half century? And, and there are at least 14 solutions off the shelf now available to us at cost or with no regrets. In fact, would save us money if we were to implement them. Um, this study was done by Sakalo et al. at Princeton. And one of the those 14 options was a 700 fold growth of photovoltaic installations by 2050. So 700 times as many roofs with photovoltaics as you currently see driving around. Sounds like a lot, but actually when you think about how cell phones in your lifetimes have spread and become ubiquitous and in everyone's pockets, or Mac computers or PCs have spread, this technology, which is very stable, very well understood, very easy to chunk out in commodity manufacturing style, can go to 700x, no, no question, in 50 years. In fact, there's a lot of studies that indicate it could go there in 2020 or, or before um, if it were given the political support, which Tom also uh, inferred. This is happening in some places. One of the great stories I put out for people that want inspiration is Germany, who bit the bullet 10 years ago and decided we're going to be part of this solution. We're going to be one of these rich countries, which not only is going to carry the East German uh, population that was coming into the West German mix at the time, but is also going to take responsibility for its historical part in the climate problem by championing clean energy technologies. And they set up various uh, laws and, and things like the feed-in tariff, which is actually a rate pay um, excise that is used to subsidise or incentivise uptake of wind and solar and so on. And sure enough, Germany has 50% of the world's solar now. It's the leader in know-how and skills for this massive booming export industry. It's employed 250,000 people in this space in the last decade, and 14% of its electricity grid is coming from clean energy sources in that period. We can do that here, and in fact, the good news is that to some degree, uh, the Californian Republic, at least, is leading the charge in the greater United States. Um, what I wanted to say in connecting this to the theme of the lunch is that as far as the great carbon offset swindle goes, which is as bad if not worse than Patty made you understand, um, we can, as the rich world, take responsibility for driving the change and allowing the uptake of clean technologies and hopefully a leapfrogging beyond the, the, the industrial revolution's mistakes, the fossil fuel based and nuclear and other technologies we experimented with over the last two centuries and will abandon as a civilization over the next millennia. You know, basically we've learned, oops, that was a mistake to dig fossils up and, and burn them and send them into the atmosphere and blanket the, the earth. So we're, we're going to move through that over the next couple of centuries, whether we do it in order, in time, to stave off the sort of crisis and emergency which Tom um, has referred to is, is the big question mark for us going forward. And the, the way that that will happen is not this sort of weird market for hot air traders that just get to create commodities out of something fictional and make a buck. It's going to be through us driving the demand as we are in California to scale up the industry and grid connected markets like California where we're seeing enormous growth in this state alone last year more photovoltaics were installed than the previous 26 years combined. So that point in the J curve that we're on right now as an industry where we're just ramping as fast as we can grow 
is going to drive the installation of major manufacturing facilities, semiconductor production facilities, the like of which only Intel has known in the past, producing photovoltaics instead of just silicon chips for computers and the like. That will come and then those commodities will become cheap enough to be accessible in price point to produce electricity for the 1.2 billion people without electricity on this earth that Tom referred to, who are going to demand that as a right, as a, as a developmental right over the next century. They want electrification. They're going to take it. They're going to get it. And our point is to create the space where PV is cheap enough to provide that electricity, it's actually going to be cheaper than fossil fuel based electricity as early as 2012, according to the European Photovoltaic Industry Association. So, you know, that's the dream. We have to keep driving it using our ca capability as consumers here in the privileged north, if you like. Uh, the, the minority world that we are in order to create that possibility for solutions like photovoltaics to take up in the future. And again, you are part of that solution because it's going to be a good thing for you to do, aside from taking a lead and doing your part in the climate solution, you're going to save yourself tens of thousands of dollars against rising electricity prices. You've suffered 7.6% electricity rise over the last 30 years per annum in California. That's only going to continue with the carbon cost being imposed and scarcity of fossil fuels and all the rest of it. So I suggest you get some solar and you uh, can get your sunshine online at sunjevity.com. Thank you. <laughs>